And that is always the thing that people, when they first think about, oh, I'm gonna make a picture quilt or something like that, they freak out inside. They go, oh, it looks like really dumb looking. It's not gonna look as good as an oil painting. It's not gonna be that. Oh, forget it. Forget it. Just dive in, cut up some fabric, use it together, see what happens. Because as you go along, you get more sophisticated. It's sophistication in your artwork comes with time. And the best time to start a piece of art is the same best time to plant a tree now. So if you plant it now, it'll grow. Okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go and grab a couple of quilts and show you what an art quilt is and what is a little bit different about what I do. So I'm gonna take my pile here and I'm gonna, you know, I'm not particularly precious about these, so I'm just gonna put them on the floor. And don't worry about it. <laughs> well, to hold it up. well, I'm gonna, I think one of them, Michael will hold up. Okay, so let me grab these. These two are gonna be up in the gallery for sale. Um, so this is one of my first ones that I did, okay? And it's called Namaste. How many of you, so, Okay, Okay. so this was done on a domestic. So I have a, a Bernina, um, and you can see that I'm using kind of these decorative stitches in here. I'm, I'm quilting on this, um, and then if you turn it around, I face it. Why would I face it? Because the quilt is <laughs> I mean, there are so many little things because, yes, because I had just learned how to print on a spoon flower. And I did that up at Art Quilt Tahoe with a, a person named Jane Dunham. Is anyone familiar with spoon flower? Okay. So, spoon flower, you were in Teresa's book, yes. Spoon flower is a commercial service that prints from a, a digital file. Okay. So I learned that, and then that was when I first thought about painting them. Because a lot of people would just print fabric and then just stitch it, and it just didn't look good. So I started painting it. Now this one is a little farther along, and this one, and we can change. We'll, we'll just play past the quilt. Okay. Here. No, it's okay. No, no, not a big deal. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. So on this one, let me just show you. Um, now I've added uh, a lot more paint. Can you see how much more paint is on there? I've also learned a little bit more about quilting and making motifs. These are fused fabrics on there. So I went from printing a file, throwing a little more paint on it, really rough quilting, into having some fabric on this. And this was uh, traveled globally in a show called H2O, H2 and OH exclamation point. Yeah. So some of the color on that is paint and some of it is fused fabric? The white is fused. Okay. And almost everything else comes with paint. Okay. So All right. So good. Is over the, the, the painting is over the fusing. Yes. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay. So let's get rid of those and then we're going to do something a little bigger. No lot. And a little. Okay, okay, this quilt has traveled the world and been kind of famous. It was on Art Quilt Studio, and it is of my Aunt Virginia, my favorite Aunt Jen. I just love her. I love her as a person, and I love her as a project. So when I look at this, this is all going to scale. So there was no color on this at all. So this color is all made up. Again, I have fused things on here. I have painted. I stitched like I stitched the red um, nail polish. You know how in the, the 40s and 50s, all women had the bright red and, red and the little red nails, you know, and now it's 
not together, and none of us will do it. <laughs> you know, just like so this is a vintage photograph and that is a huge series for me family photographs that I've taken and what I did was I took something that was some photographs that I found in an envelope when I moved to my big house from Vermont. I don't know if anyone's had that experience but anyway so that's what I did just recently as an interview oh have you okay well you'll find them you'll like them you know, you're, you know, next time I move, I'm going to burn it. I'm going to burn my house and burn everything in it, and that's going to be it. And you see why we came back. But anyway, so I found these, and again, I got a little more sophisticated. So there we go. Okay. Now, on this one, can you see? I got a problem in the center. Do I care? Probably not. Okay. I'm going to take one second and just get turn off my phone. That is me. <laughs> I don't know why. Why is it when we're talking, it's the only time our phone goes off? You know? 